Okay, so now let's, let's calculate sort of the value of this offense. So, I mean, first of all, this is a, this is not one of those, you know, super um, balanced offenses. It's really just set up for basically one of two things to happen. You know, get a layup here, or get a shot here. It's mainly for the shot here. And we don't really getting all the players involved. Okay. But still, in terms of offense, it does it does have some value. Okay, so for example, if we know this person's always helping and you'll always get the shot off here open, okay, then the value of the offense will be at least as great as this person's three point shooting percentage times three points. So if this person's a thirty percent shooter, which is okay for this age group, but um, you know, not great for older age group. The offense will be at least worth 0.9, okay? 30% of 3 is 0.9. Okay. Um, okay, and that'll be basically the case the first time you do it. Okay, and then the extra, if you get on 0.9, okay, it gets a bit complicated here, is how the rebounds work, okay? So, You know, for example, this person, their defend. So the rebounds, you know, you have a certain chance of getting the rebounds, but it's complicated by the risk that you take in um, allowing a fast break the other way by not being there on defense. Okay, so let's see what kind of risk we're taking. So we're not really taking much of a risk with this player because this player is forced to stay back to defend this. So they won't gonna, they're not going to get too much of a head start on you. Okay. This player is already back on defense after the shot. And this person possibly is occupying two players. Okay, so even if the other defender follows you, there's three players being occupied. And depending on what happens here, um, sort of, there's at most two offensive players. So it's one, one, two. I guess you can say this two people. This person could run off with this person. So then you have like three offensive players versus two offensive defensive players, which is not bad. Or possibly one, which is really bad. So I mean, if we're saying this person's rebounding, then it'll never be versus three. So let's say we're giving up a three on two on the other end if we don't get the rebound. So you know, so that means say you have like a um, okay. Well, in that case, you have a rebounding advantage here. Okay. So let's say you have a fifty percent chance of getting the rebound. Um. So. Then that 50% is sort of, let's say it's worth just that three point shot, which is worth 0.9, so it's worth 0.45, right? Um, but it's minus the cost of them getting a fast break, okay? So the cost of the fast break is not simply the value of the fast break. So you go three on two, that a three on two might only be worth like one point, okay, it might not be, it's not the greatest fast break, especially, um, because a lot of teams can't execute it very well, so three on two, let's say it's just worth one point, um, so the cost of that is not one point, okay, because they would have gotten something anyway, even if they didn't do a fast break, so their normal offense might be worth point seven, let's say. So what they get extra from having a three on two is that point three. So it's really the four point four five um, minus point three, and this is very like roughly speaking here. And there are lots of other factors to go into. It. So so this play with the rebound, okay, it might be worth. Um, you know, point nine. Plus 0.45, 1.35 minus 0.3, so 1.05 with the rebounds. 
Okay. Um, another factor, I guess, is that the fact that the original dribbler can actually just get to the ring. Okay. Um, and of course, there's, it's not completely risk-free because once this person, if this person turns it over, then there, there does seem to be a really awkward, it could be even a 5-on-2 fast break, okay, because these two are definitely not um, in advantageous positions to get back. Um, so it really depends on how, how likely this person is to make it and how likely it is they are to turn it over really badly. Okay, but if it is fairly likely for them to get a layup, and the layup is very high percentage, then you can add maybe point 0.1 or point 0.2 to the offense. Okay. And for half court offense, of course, you know the benchmark people sort of just one point, 